Today's Grocery Market Share release covers the four weeks and the 12 weeks to the 29th of September 2024. Market growth in the latest four weeks has dipped ever so slightly to 2%, with grocery inflation moving ever so slightly in the other direction. Price rises in the supermarkets have now been below the 3% mark for six months, so it's safe to say, for now, we have left the time of high inflation behind us. Of course, prices on average are not actually falling, though you are in luck if you're in the market for items such as toilet roll, dog food and cat food. The economic troubles of the last few years have left a mark on shoppers, of course. The majority of Britons do make an effort to be sustainable, but as our new Who Cares Who Does study shows, 59% of them say it's hard to do the right thing by the environment because of their financial pressures, which is a huge increase compared with last year. Do get in touch to find out more about British and global attitudes and actions regarding sustainability and, for the first time this year, health too. Maybe one of those economic pressures was putting the heating on, as September's wet and cold weather sent shoppers rushing for premature winter warmers and helped sales of hot chocolate, soup and home baking. One growing alternal tradition is clearly Halloween. Nearly £1 million has already been spent on pumpkins, suggesting this will be a record year for the round orange squashes. Sales of chocolate and sugar confectionery are starting to rise too in the run-up to both the trick-or-treat season and Christmas. Helping bring inflation down, promotional levels have been rising since July last year, though the rate of increase is now slowing, so this is a trend that could come to an end in the next few months. That is, unless brands and retailers decide to offer even more money off. For this month, the effects of promotions are clear, with spending on promoted items up 7%, while the money spent on off-deal products barely increased at all. In the retailer race over the 12 weeks, Ocado were again the fastest growing grocer, but remember they are only a small part of the market. Little's strong run continues, but it is Tesco making the biggest share gains after a very marginally overtaking the other strong performer amongst the biggest supermarkets, which is Sainsbury's. Not quite into share gain territory, but doing well to keep it flat in such a competitive market were Morrison's, Waitrose and Iceland. Join us next time as we review Halloween, perhaps take the first look at mince pies and Christmas puddings and see which retailers will be able to win share as we reach the final quarter of the year. 